My name is Jennifer Talkin Spaulding. I'm the Acting Chief of Resource Management for the National Mall and Memorial Parks with the National Park Service. I'm one of the people that is helping to manage the current exterior condition survey of the Washington Monument. Since the earthquake happened on August 23rd, we've done a number of things to try and prepare us to the point that we are at now. Right after the earthquake, we had some uh, engineer come out and give us a preliminary assessment. And then our full team from Wiss, Janie, and Elsner was on board within two days of the earthquake. And they assessed the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and the Jefferson Memorial preliminarily. Once we had that assessment, we had the, uh, the hurricane, Hurricane Irene was coming on Saturday. So we needed to make some temporary repairs right away. So I was with the team, two of the climbers that are here working on this project right now are the same two climbers that were with us on Friday before Hurricane Irene, Eric Sohn and Dave Megerly. We actually had them roped up on the inside of the Washington Monument so that they could access some of the cracks that are very awkward to get at it from any other method. So we were there till midnight on Friday before the hurricane came trying to do temporary patching to help us out with the rains that we anticipated. We came back in the next week and saw that what we did helped but there was still a lot of water coming into the building. And right after the hurricane we had a week of tropical storm rain which brought even more water. So we were trying to get to the point where we are now, which is looking at the exterior conditions because there are so many open joints that you cannot see or access on the ins from the inside of the monument. You have to look at them from the outside, and that's what we're doing right now. People have been wondering why we decided to do an exterior condition ass assessment from rappelling out the Washington Monument. It, it does seem kind of a dramatic way to do it, but it was really important for us to do it this way for two reasons. One is you can look at things from the ground and we were looking at photographs that we took from the helicopter. We were looking at the monument from scopes, but really until you get in front of the stone and you're able to touch it and really tap on it and hear what's going on with that stone, it's very hard to see the condition in very real terms. So we needed to get people in front of the stone to do it right the first time. The second reason that we are doing this is because we found a lot of incipient spalls on the inside. And a spall is a piece of stone that's just kind of hanging on. And we removed a number of those from the inside of the monument. And we thought there might be some on the outside. And if we're going to go out and take a look at the exterior conditions, we wanted to at the same time remove any incipient spalls that could potentially become a fall hazard. And that is, in fact, what we have been. The difference between repelling and scaffold is obviously time and efficiency. The easiest and quickest way to get a good condition assessment and to remove the stones, the pieces of stones that may be loose, was to do the repelling. If we were to do a scaffold, it would take a, a lot longer, and we are, we're up against the weather right now. We're trying to get our condition assessment, see if there's any temporary repairs that we need to make to get us through the winter, and, and that's what we're facing. We're trying to get it done before the cold winter weather comes in. The condition assessment on the outside of the Washington Monument started last week, started on Tuesday and it's going very well. We have had some weather delays because of winds, uh, but every day that they were scheduled to work last week, they were able to work at least for part of the day and a couple of days we got good full days of work in. This weekend we had hoped to get a couple more days of work in, but we weren't able to do that because of high winds. Today is Monday, we are out again, and they're making good progress. We need probably another two more full days to really complete this assessment. People have been seeing that we have been removing some pieces of stone, some loose uh, incipient spalls, and bringing them inside of the monument. And people are asking, well, what do you do? Now that you've taken this piece of stone off, how do you fix it? And if you look at the monument, 
right now you can see that there are bright white corners, white stone that is in the corners in the lower part of the monument. Those are stone repairs. Those are called Dutchman and it's a very standard masonry process to remove failed or broken pieces of stone and replace it in kind with a like stone and a material that will weather the same as the original stone. So we don't know until the survey is completed how much work we're going to need to do, but I think it is fair to say that preservationists do this kind of work on masonry structure all of the time and we have those kinds of repairs already on the Washington Monument.